Hey, welcome to this lesson on the origins and the creators of Scrum. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good starting place for this, Ryan. Yeah, let's start in the beginning. And and actually, I, I, what we're going to show you right now, I think, is one of the most important things a Scrum practitioner can know about. That is scrumguides.org. Mm -hmm. This is where the Scrum Guide lives. It's where the revision history of the Scrum Guide is, the history of Scrum. This is the de facto standard for Scrum. This is where... Um, Scrum is defined in the Scrum Guide. Its current version as of this recording is Scrum Guide 2020. All future iterations of the Scrum Guide will be here as well. So scrumguides.org, a really important bookmark to go ahead and put in your browser. You're going to be here a lot. Yeah, you know, Ryan, I'm glad you said history too, because if you click up on this link in the top right, you see here history. And you can go here and you can see the revision history, right, from, uh, from 27 to 2020. Right. Um, uh, all the way back down into 2020. Right. 2020, 2021. You're able to see these on this website. So I get the history all wrapped up into here. And uh, obviously you get to see the latest and greatest Scrum Guide, which you can read online. You can download in multiple languages. This really is vitally important to any Scrum practitioner to read and become accustomed with a Scrum Guide. But Ryan, I heard you mention this talk about the creators a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. Scrum was co-created by Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland. Uh, so these are two uh, developers, practitioners who first presented Scrum at the Uppsala conference back in 1995. So these are certainly fresh ideas, right? A lot of time has gone into formulating Scrum and evolving it. So back in 1995 was the first paper at, at Uppsala, which was a, a conference that Ken and Jeff uh, presented Scrum at. Uh, a few years later, Ken and Jeff actually signed the Agile Manifesto. So if you're familiar with the Manifesto uh, for Sag Agile Software Development, you'll know that in 2001, 17 Agilists and developers, they got together in Snowbird, uh, at Snowbird. It's a ski resort in Utah. And they created the, the four values and 12 principles of Agile. And Ken and Jeff are two signatories of that manifesto. So the co-creators of Scrum also signed the Agile Manifesto. Uh, and ultimately published the first Scrum Guide yeah. uh, in 2010, as Todd pointed out in the revision tab. Yeah, you know, one thing, uh, Ryan, if I may, uh, important to point out here is you notice right here that S is the only word capitalized in Scrum. Yep. Scrum is not a synonym for anything. It's not a mnemonic. Scrum is actually based off of rugby. Uh, and uh, Ken and Jeff had read a white paper in the Harvard Business Review, um, uh, what was the name of it again? Right? I'm the it. new, new product uh, development game, which was published Chinese. by Takeuchi and Nonaka back in 1986. Yeah. Thank you for that. Ryan always saves me with that kind of memory stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. And you know, uh, they had talked about the, the game of rugby and the flow of how, how rugby happens. And uh, that's where Ken and Jeff grabbed this name scrum. And so just know that it doesn't, it's not short for anything. Uh, that's why I like to point out the capital S is the only thing here. It's actually, is derived from rugby. Yeah, not an acronym, doesn't stand for anything else. Uh, Takeuchi and Nonaka, they really liked the way that a, a rugby team had to work together. Like if, a, as Todd being a former a rugby player can tell you, if you go, if you try to go it alone in rugby, you get smashed and clobbered very quickly. <laughs> yep. You have to stay together as a team to move the ball down the field and ultimately score. Uh, Takeuchi and Nonaka found that very compelling and tried to build that type of team camaraderie collaboration and teamwork into uh, their first vision of the new, new product development game, which ultimately Ken and Jeff um, were inspired by and ultimately used parts of that to bring Scrum to the marketplace uh, in 20 or er, in, in 1995 at Uppsala and ultimately uh, codify it in the Scrum guide uh, for the first version in 2010. Yeah. Um, you know, Ryan, uh, one more thing to point out here that I thought that I just thought of off the top of my head is to point out here. I think this is really important. This, if you're reading the Scrum Guide, what is Scrum? Know that Scrum isn't a methodology. Not a methodology. That's a big. Uh, it is not a methodology. It is a comment. framework. It's a framework and it's for developing and sustaining complex products. So really important word to point out here. Framework. Scrum is a framework for developing and sustaining complex problems. And so your homework. So for the first video, yeah. we've got some homework here. We want you to visit scrumguides.org and read the Scrum Guide. Please take this first step. If you've never read it, check it out. If it's been a while, there's a new version. 
check out the Scrum Guide, and we want to know what surprised you. And let us know in the community section of this class. The community section is there for a reason. We want to interact. We want to hear and read your thoughts as well. So let us know what surprised you, what shocked you, what you didn't think was there, or what you thought was there but wasn't, and, and all of those ideas in between. We'll check those out in the community section. And uh, yeah, that is your homework. Yeah. We'll see you. Uh, go ahead and get your homework posted. And then uh, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, homework right now.